Jamari. Logan Paul keeps getting worse. But we got him and Ryan Garcia in the thumbnail, bro. This man recently won his fight with Devin, Han Devin Haney, right? The world thought he was crazy. I mean, I even thought he was bugging out too. But come to find out, that was all like a stunt for the fight or something just to get attention. And it worked in his favor, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's see, bro. <laughs> so last weekend, Ryan finally had his blockbuster fight against Devin Haney. When yep. I saw that man walking in with the Essentials crop top hoodie and those weak shorts, I knew exactly where this was heading. Not to even mention the Squidward 11s on his feet, as well as that cursed prime chain around his neck that looks like it came out of an arcade crane machine. Actually, that losing chain is the perfect metaphor for the topic of today's video. As the self-proclaimed King Ryan Garcia has been cooking both Logan Paul and KSI, as well as their brand Prime for the last month or so. And even after the fight, Ryan has kept his foot on Logan Paul's neck. Some of you may remember these two were actually pretty friendly for years. Ryan would make multiple appearances in both his videos yeah. and on his podcast. <laughs> And it seemed like the two of them were really buddy-buddy. And with Ryan being like this new age social media boxer that everyone was coining him as, the pair actually seemed almost like a match made in heaven, especially with Logan <laughs> having this whole boxing arc. But now the tune has definitely changed. And Ryan really despises Logan Paul. So yeah. what's your problem with Logan much... and KSI? What's your issue they're with leechers, those guys? man. They're just, they don't stand for nothing, bro. They're they're puppets and nothing in the day. I don't like people like that. These dudes are culture vultures. These dudes are whack. Well, it's not going to hurt your brand to speak for, for the kids. And then you want to bash the man that is speaking for the kids. These dudes are cowards. These dudes are demons in the flesh. Like, these dudes are just, they're going ahead and nowhere. That money ain't going to go nowhere but the grave, brother. And for those of you that aren't mm. aware, when Ryan's talking about Damn. saving the kids here, he's talking about speaking up about... And all these other things yep. that have been flying under the radar for such a long time, yep. a la Epstein Island, P. Diddy. Like, obviously, there's starting to be a larger conversation around all of that. And in leading up to this <clears> fight, <throat> Ryan had quite a bit to say about that topic, saying that he even had some first-hand experience with these quote-unquote elites, like almost like Illuminati type, and he's claiming that he's now going to be destroying those entities, which Logan Paul was kind of speaking out against him about, saying that he was crazy. Put your grown man pants on, mm -hmm. and how about you help talk about it? Because you, you joined every movement you thought was plausible for your platform. He used the whole black empowerment movement, what happened Good with George point. Floyd, for his benefit. I'm a white man, and I'm going to stand up and say, you know, I have my white privilege, <laughs> true. and I'm sorry. And then he yeah. got a lot of love for that, right? Of course. Good yeah. point. That, bandwagon. That's called he's a bandwagon. He was bandwagoner. reading the script off the phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was just, like, bro, shut up. And this is the clip he's talking about point. Logan that went like super viral during that time. It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. Yes. <clears throat> Condemn those who feign superiority because of the color of their skin. Friends, hold friends accountable. Hold your family accountable. Hold yourself accountable. Mm -hmm. Make your vo voice heard. Attend a protest. Bro, that shit. That racist shit weird, bro. How do you look at somebody opposite skin color of you and you're just like, I don't like you. I don't like you. You're nothing. What are you? Like, what's the fucking point of that, bro? That shit does absolutely fucking nothing for anybody. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad because people my age, people younger than me are racist, bro. That's crazy. You would think the old head senior citizen, 30, uh, 30, that's kind of young, I ain't gonna lie. But still, they got 30 year olds racist and shit. Fucking 60, 70, 80 years old, bro. They went through that shit. They seen all that shit back in the day, how it was before, bro. And the fact that it's 2024 and racism is still a thing. That shit fucking corny, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Speak up against injustice. If you're white, if you look like me, use your privilege. And for those who do not think white privilege exists, you are f blind. Half of the reason I'm able to get away with some of my hooligan shit I do in my vlogs is because I'm a white kid. I guess that's kind of when everyone thought that Logan was changing. He had metamorphosized into <laughs> a butterfly from a nasty little caterpillar. 
you know, before Crypto Zoo and, you know, him <laughs> kicking off his podcast host due uh-huh. to his religion, basically before his reputation was back down in the toilet. Ryan is saying, why were you so vocal about that? Yeah. But you are so scared to speak out about this. It took a guy off his channel for talking about Jesus. Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and he's so in love with his wisdom that he thinks he has, that he seems, he just seems like a prick. He's a weirdo. Would okay. you fight him? I, and I'll do worse. <laughs> I'll do, do worse, worse than him. I will destroy Logan Paul. I've already sparred him. He didn't hurt me once. And he was way bigger than me, and I was whooping his ass. How long ago was this? Long ass time ago. I mean, I will say Logan Paul does always seem to think that he is the smartest guy in the room. He thinks that he's the one that knows best. I'm sure you guys remember the conversation that he had with George where he said that he needs to pretty much ditch Jesus, ditch the Bible, and jump into some therapy because Crazy. apparently George was all out of control. Yeah. And you know, this is where Logan really started getting butt hurt. Uh, you know what's crazy too? Uh, if I remember correctly, that scene right there, uh, that little clip they showed, right, like literally right before uh, he got kicked out or left. or Yeah, he got up and left. He walked away. Um, I don't know, like, like George wasn't really pushing the religion onto them you know what i'm saying like he would talk about it it's his views and all of that right but he wasn't really there like pushing it down their throat like oh no you gotta believe in him and you gotta do this and that you know what i'm saying like i don't know if if i remember correctly don't quote me on that but he wasn't pushing it on them you feel me i don't know either way i mean logan reacted and took that whole situation kind of fucked up you know what i'm saying because Prime is like his baby, it's his vehicle towards becoming a billionaire, which he's always said has been his overall goal in life. Which to me is also like a big narcissistic sociopath red flag, but regardless, Ryan was saying things like this. The difference between alcohol and Prime is one says it can kill you, the other claims it's healthy, meanwhile, it's killing you. Then he would straight up just say, don't drink Prime. And then he wants no association Crazy. with Logan Paul anymore. He says, please all Logan Paul groupies, unfollow, I don't want Charles follow or anything to do with you even right after the fight ended he would tweet this out this is why you don't drink prime but respect to haney for getting up every time and i'm telling you guys that cheap ass <laughs> necklace that he was donning was absolutely cursed like they should be ashamed for putting this weak ass claire's clearance aisle chain around this man's neck on one of the biggest nights in his <laughs> life. and like i said before ryan and Loken were pretty friendly just a year ago as he would appear on his podcast and it would seem like the two still had a pretty good rapport. They still had a lot of respect for each other. And I will say, I do think that when Ryan Garcia lost to Tank Davis, it's kind of like something inside of him snapped. Something definitely changed. And we've definitely seen a different person. For sure, person. bro. For sure. That was his first L, dude. That was his first fucking L. Of course that shit gonna hit, boy. You know what I'm saying? after that fight whether you think it's for the better or worse well that's up to you but now that he's won the fight you know everyone's back to riding ryan garcia now here's where ksi comes into play okay he says cancel the ryan garcia fight and actually get him some help it's sad watching him have a mental breakdown publicly like this and thank god that ryan did not listen to this man okay he would have been like 40 million dollars less rich and I'm thinking that this is the clip that really made Logan Paul, KSI, and Prime one of Ryan's main targets. I he made this. a claim that I reacted he was, to this. Uh, as, as a kid, he was held down in a forest and watched some really nasty stuff happen. Okay. Okay. He also claimed that he was brought into the back room at the Vatican and, and was, you know, experienced stuff there. And, and the biggest claim he made was that he had evidence of all of this, of all of this. Okay. And was willing to share it. There's no proof that children or even, or even reason to believe that children are being sacrificed or that or that as ryan said and i quote they are spreading children's and drinking oh, that's what he said those were his exact words that is those were his, and, 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 and 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 every, and and now here's my issue it wasn't a thousand people it wasn't ten thousand people hundreds of thousands of people on TikTok, twitter instagram wherever are saying <laughs> That happened. We believe that story. And Ryan did not like that shit at all. So f all three of them. F you, Logan. F you, Mike. And I don't give a f what your real name is. KSI, KS Lies. F you. <laughs> you guys are f sick bastards. There's little kids f hurting. F all three of you. All three of you guys are sick. F 
you're giving them power. It's sick. Do not give Satan power. Do not go drink Prime. There's horrible chemicals. Prime tastes like straight shit. Anybody who's actually drank that, that shit tastes like ass. I'd rather drink Coca-Cola than Prime. I mean, let's not expect the most thought-provoking dialogue from Ryan here. I mean, I'm pretty sure yeah, the no, guy this, has... This was around the time where he was doing that public stunt and saying, well, public stunt? There was he, he claims there was truth in it, but he did it for the publicity, you feel me? fought like I just, 300 one of boxing matches at the age of 25. But if anything's Sheesh. clear to me here, That's it's crazy. that he thinks that both Mike and Logan are snakes. Prime is the worst shit ever created. It's gonna kill your guys' brains, mess up your guys' liver. How the hell? They have no sugar, but it tastes sweet as that makes no damn sense. I mean, what do you guys think about Prime? I will say that it is impressive the way that Logan... I mean, I'm not gonna say he took it from the ground. It was already kind of an idea out there that they just... Yeah. For me, bro, I tried all of them. It's good, bro. Some flavors are good. Some flavors are ass. It's good. I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? But that was only one time. That was only one time. Me, I'm a water guy. My boy, it's empty. I gotta refill it, but... Give me my water, bro. That's all I drink. Soda, juice, all I don't care, bro. Just brought to him. We tried it though. I did the, the taste test on everything. Blew it up and like put it on this mainstream scale. Now, I, will say, I don't tough, think though. I've ever seen anyone over the age of 12 drink it or buy it. The couple times I tried it when it first came out, <laughs> nothing about it tasted natural to me, and it uh, seems like quite the artificial drink. I've yeah, only yeah. said true things, and they're saying that they're trying to spin the narrative. And I used to like Logan and everybody. I think I thought I thought they were cool. Nah, I don't, I don't care about you. So everybody, stop drinking Prime. So obviously this hurt KSI's very fragile ego, and he says the Ryan Garcia defeat is about to hit so different. Haney about Crazy. to do a madness. Do a madness, okay? I'm challenging people from the UK to speak normally just once. And I like this little rebuttal, okay? He says Tommy did a match. <laughs> and he's wearing that weak ass prime chain too. I'm telling y'all, that shit is cursed. Crazy. I'm sure KSI also <laughs> didn't have a very favorable opinion of Ryan after he had said this on Logan's podcast last year. Jake Paul, KSI, enter the ring together. Who wins that fight? As of right now, Jake Paul. Knocks him out. Yeah. Knocks him out cold. Yeah, sleeps him. He said sleeps him. I just think he jumps in too crazy. Personally, right now, I think he's just is getting away with it. But somebody times him coming in, which Jake likes to do. I think he times him coming in and knocks him out. Cole, that stuff works, of course, when somebody's not going to throw a counter back. Like he's just <laughs> he's going to run into one. Okay. You see how awkward it got in the room? I mean, we've known that Logan is jealous of his brother for quite some time. But Crazy. it's hilarious to me how he now dick rides his ex-mortal enemy. Bro, Logan's really in a fucking pickle. He's been in a fucking pickle, bro. Until KSI and Jake fight, this is just my opinion. Until they fight, bro, he's gonna be in this pickle regardless. I don't know. Because I, I, I feel like after they fight, obviously, like, that beef they have or whatever, right? The, the tension, the, yeah, the tension or whatever. It's gonna die down or just go away, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Me, I, I just want to see them fight and that's it, bro. Dead that shit. Dead that beef. Dead all that bullshit, bro. But I do feel bad for Logan. He, he's literally, literally in the middle of this shit, bro. All because they've done big business together. That's why these two guys, it's hard to not look at them as somewhat fake. Like, you're not even loyal to your brother. You can't even be happy when he wins. You can't even be happy in a hypothetical situation where he wins. To me, that says an awful lot about his character. And so in the days leading it's up tough. to the fight, Logan would continue to go on this press run where he would basically call Ryan Garcia crazy. And he keeps hammering this point home that he doesn't think these vile things happen to Ryan. All the, all the, um, and stuff and the things, the videos he claims to have and the things he's seen, whatever. And yet again, like everyone's pressing him to come forward with like yeah, a call little the cops. Right, well, that's also like, a serious issue, right? Dude, like, well, bro, it's a mad serious right. issue. And Ryan Garcia... <laughs> The influencer boxer has the answers. Influencer boxer, and yet, crazy. and yet, yeah. Logan calling Ryan Garcia an influencer crazy. boxer has to be the most ironic moment of 2024. You want to contribute to a very good cause and stopping action? Go. Stop just, stop just saying stuff and not having actually any action to back up the things you're saying. I think is fucked up.
I mean, Ryan even being willing to go out on a limb and use his massive platform Fact. that way and not fear the repercussions to me is already a pretty big deal. Now, am I going to yeah. say everything that he said during this crazy press run has been true? Absolutely not. But to me, Loken's being pretty damn smug here and really kind of acting like he doesn't think any bad shit like that is going on in the world. Like, it's yeah. almost like, oh, you have this evidence? We'll post it up because I'm not buying it. And here was Loken's prediction just days before the fight on how it all would go down. Wait, which way do you guys see this fight going? Well, Yo, he's going to get floored, yeah, bro. Yeah, he's, he's going to get Devin Haney is yeah. damn near unbeatable. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy coming from Jake Paul. This man said you would win against KSI. He was defending your ass. This man said, nah, he's definitely going to get floored. What? That's crazy. Right now, bro. Yeah, he's looking very, bro. very, very nice. I feel bad, bro. Yeah, but, well, he could maybe have a career in music after this. This, this might what? be, this, it what? just might be like punching somebody while they're already down, like playing no, something he's, uh, like that. He's high as a <laughs> And I do not doubt that Ryan wasn't somewhere in a dark room at 4 a.m. just days before the fight, watching clips like this, drunk as f just plotting on his ultimate revenge moment. I'm Start. not even thinking about Crazy. boxing, yo. I'm concerned about his life. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, like, it, what does a loss on a scale as big as the one he's currently on do to someone? When you're already clearly not mentally well. And his reaction Crazy. would change when uh, Ryan would come out swinging. <laughs> Damn, look, look at this. Shit. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that hurt, about. right? I know. Damn, what they bet money on Devin, too, bro. <laughs> They're cooked, good. It tells me Logan had a pretty hefty bet on Devin that night. And yeah. here's where we fall back into the prime is the devil narrative. How is the super seat sweet with no sugar? That makes no damn sense. Obviously, it's artificial. But they tried to, But my whole problem was this. I don't care that whatever you put in a drink, but don't say it's a healthy drink. And now they're saying that Ryan Garcia might have been spitting facts as they are facing yet another class action lawsuit. Sheesh. I mean, there's kids who are out here drinking Sheesh. this shit every day, and apparently it has to do with it having too many forever chemicals that just stay in your body, allegedly. Prime is now getting sued, and you should be seriously concerned if you have any Prime since it released. So Prime is now going through a new lawsuit after it was discovered that their drink has PFOs, which is forever chemicals. But what's really concerning Crazy. is the fact that the lawyer who tested their drink is claiming it has three times the amount of forever chemicals a human can safely have in their lifetime. And the lawsuit is claiming they found these forever chemicals. That's wild. That's fucking wild, bro. Ah. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Like I said, I tried every flavor, energy, and hydration, bro. That's one time. I don't even buy, I don't buy this shit, bro. Yeah, boy, water. Give me water. You feed me. ...in the grape-flavored prime drink. However, it also seems like other flavors might also have these chemicals because other prime flavors are being tested. And we're going to find out crazy. after the lawsuit is approved. One lawyer on TikTok actually spoke about this and said he had a 10-year-old and his mother talked to him about how her son got leukemia after drinking prime. Now knowing that what? prime contains what? these chemicals, it's very much likely... Whoa, what the fuck? No way. Her son got leukemia after drinking Prime. Now knowing that Prime contains what? these chemicals, it's very much likely because of it. These chemicals are known to nah. cause cancers and deteriorate your health since they're forever chemicals and your body can't get rid of them. I mean, I'm just thinking about that one terminally online kid who had his mother set up a... Oh, I fucking saw that. About that one... T I saw this, bro. Dude. Terminally online kid who had his mother set up a water cooler but instead of water being in there they just filled it with a bunch of bottles of prime what's going on with that guy is his body like illuminating or <laughs> some shit i mean all serious note guys i don't recommend you drinking this shit at all okay stick to water stick to coffee stick Thank to you. teas don't get no coffee tea and water bro <laughs> don't get no damn coffee it honestly reminds me of ah, all those bro. times back on the sports field where they would say Oh, drink Gatorade, you know? You're dehydrated. Oh, you need this salt from this Gatorade. And come to find out all these years later, it was actually counterintuitive. It was bad for you to be dehydrated and drinking that freaking 
poison. And I will say now, in Gatorade's defense, they do have some better drinks. But it's insane the way that good marketing can affect people psychologically, especially right. when it comes to the choices as a consumer. Social media influencers Logan Paul and KSI launched the beverage brand last year, but a growing number of health experts say they're concerned about potential side effects. So yes, the main problem Sheesh. with Prime seems to be their insistent marketing towards kids. I mean, obviously that is their yeah. number one demographic. But like I said, man, no one should be drinking this BS. But I want to know what you guys think about. That's, that's true, bro. That's true. Oh, man. Leukemia drinking this is crazy. If that's like actually what happened, you feel me? That's wild. Um, What's it called? What do you say over here? uh the water stick to water bro stick to water always stay away from dasani <laughs> that thing i don't know yo dasani is not good bro i ain't gonna lie w video w video man i didn't know this was all going on bro honestly because i knew they were cool but then i remember that ryan garcia uh interview on impulsive and then I did react to the one where it was KSI, Logan, and Mike. And yeah, I, did, I don't know. I didn't know. Logan isn't a clown. That's an insult to clowns because at least they're funny. Bro acted like a goof, bet two mil on himself, and took home 20 M's. And then didn't forget to give some for charity. Brian is a genius. Logan ain't a clown. He's the whole butt of a joke. Also, JJ has lost my respect entirely. Not only does he have a big ego, but is asserted with Logan. Like partners in crimes. Honestly, I'm happy he lost to Tommy Fury. Drinking pipe should be a crime. Bars. That boy rhyming out here in the comment section. Hearing how is it so sweet but no sugar while being high AF made me trip. <laughs> Not the Squidward 11. <laughs> oh man. W video, bro. Let me know what you guys thought. That's my reaction. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. I'm out.